Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to the finale of Jodan, the Princess of Snow and Blood. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, hold on, let me do that again. In three, two, one, go. There we go, that's better. You know you don't have to do this, right? I know you want to throw all that away. So, uh, yeah, but you should be there with her. Oh, God. I mean, she's made up her mind. There's nothing else she can do about it. I don't want this. I don't want this. No, no. You can't go out there. I know. Like, they just got each other back. And so I was like, fuck it, I'm making it. <laughs> Sacrifice. Like, god damn it. Oh, it's a person who killed lots of says them. See, there were times where I did think it was him, but like because there was moments Oh you fucker. made so much sense when you did that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because really she should have got killed by her, in my opinion, instead of you. That was half ass, in my opinion. I mean, because, you know, no offense, Salva don't seem like the bitch who wants to be saved all the time. Exactly. He's lied so much to her. Like, oh!
Oh, is this whole episode? Oh, damn. It would have been nice if this whole episode was in black and white. My thing is like, why can't you two just go ahead and work together? I get it. Yes, opposing signs initially like that, but come on, damn it. She might not be able to defeat him. That scares me so much. Like, oh. Unlike you? I think he's basically now saying that he's going to be the one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just imagine if his if her mom didn't say anything to him, she would have been dead. Yeah, until you got her. It doesn't, but it's something that's just little to him and to you. It was something you cared about. He might kill you this time. He's going to go end things. So we all just know straight up he's dying by the end of this episode. Or probably in the next few minutes. You're not going to make it back there in time for him. Damn. The one moment you kind of wish Sawa had some freaking wings, because, like, oh, 
It would help, but no. Oh. Wait until the God, she's nowhere near him right now. She she's not gonna make it. Oh my god. Figure it out. So now, how in the world is she going to find Asi? Too much. Oh. Oh, Ash. She's gonna make a grave for him. I see. Of course you stayed. <laughs> oh, honey.
the salty bread. She just opens the door and there she is. It's like, ah. Uh. Thank you. I still feel like she's going to do something. A new age is coming. That or a new day. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Do not do this to me. They are together again, and they're going to live their life out until she dies. And when Asahi gets older, do not do this to me. Oh, God. Mm -mm. Because something tells me if she does die, by the end of this episode, Nana's going to fly away. Oh my god, I don't want to think like this. Damn it. Ah! <laughs> That's it. Oh my god. Damn it. Ah. I knew that was going to happen, but at the same time I was like, "No, no." Her. It's okay. Let her live on with Asahi. But I, once we all knew it was gonna happen. Once you know, she said, "When we're done, Nana, will you die with me?" And then, not if she dies, and Nana just flies off. Okay. So, final thoughts on the show. 
Once again, this is a very, very, very underrated show just as much as Aquadama Drive. It did give me a lot of Aquadama Drive feels as well, except there is some differences with it. I mean, you you technically almost killed everybody in this show, then you brought them back, and now you end the show with, out of, what, the five characters, main characters? So, Sawa, Asahi, Jin... Um, what's his face and Hana? Yeah, you kill you kill three out of the out of the five. So there's two people left. But it seems like maybe Asahi might continue in her like doing so much job. I don't know, but like at least they were together in the final moments. Though it was really sweet. There there were times where it was hella confusing and you didn't know where the heck it was gonna go. But it was really interesting. Hell yeah, I'm sad that this is over because, oh, oh, She's like continuing in her work. Oh. So fucking beautiful, my God. Nana, Nana. If only they would show that. Mm. If only. Honestly, that was sweet. Like, it w okay, this is what I also feel like they should have also shown at the end of this episode. Okay, yes, not only with Sawa passing away, but... I did like with each entry because we all knew that like it, in the end Asahi was going to be the only one writing in it the most but Asahi crying being maybe a little depressed over Sawa officially being dead and staying dead and not coming back but now it wonders it makes you wonder what could possibly happen next because I don't think they're going to really do anything else for this. I think this is just we're ending it like this and we're not getting anything else for it. It would be nice to get something and to see now officially Asahi's, you know, POV because you're only going to give me, you only gave me like three minutes. And to me, three minutes ain't enough. Now that she's older and a little more wiser and now she knows what she has to do until it's her time to die. Um, and hell, even seeing Han's child, like, oh my god, I would love to see what they would get into but I'm guessing of course surely we're not going to get that so I'm guessing at the moment of when she saw the little girl who looked like Asahi running around ran after her um that chick came back and stabbed her in the back and so from that that was the reason of why she she ugh, can't speak she died a little fucked up of a death to do to just stab someone in the back and let them slowly bleed out to death. I, I mean, it, you know what? It, it's better than burning. I, I will say that Jin, like, oh my god, I was not expecting it to go down like that. I thought he at least would have killed himself. Um, 
before the fires consumed him, but no. I mean, oh god. But yeah, this was a very underrated show. I I mean, would like once again, would love to see more for this, but I'm guessing possibly not. I I mean, it really just depends because since this was an original anime, 50 out of 50, I gotta do you like Akadama Drive, Akadama Drive because <laughs> it's almost been a year <laughs> since that show has aired and um everyone in like kind of the Danganronpa slash Akudama Drive fandom still wants to see more of Akudama Drive and I'm I'm like I'm hella like that with this because you uh, it's not a cliffhanger it's not an end abruptly and it's not a cliffhanger it's just like okay we're ending this this is how we're going to end this where she's continuing on the legacy and such which I would have liked to see in Akudama Drive but of course not but that's okay but still, like I said, once again, it would have been nice to, like, give us more. Or they could do an OVA of some sorts, possibly. And I'm guessing if they do, it might not come out until a couple months from of the later on this year, maybe. Not 100% sure on that. But, I mean, yeah, I really personally enjoyed this. I think everybody who was cast in this show um, <clears throat> as our five main leads, they did awesome. To the point where, yes, their character died. Everybody did really, really good. It, there were some times where, like, it confused me. It went one way, it went the other way. And I was like, where are we going with this? But I am glad that I stuck with this um, and such. I think this might now have to be the second most underrated show that I've ever watched officially as a friend. Well, no. Yeah. For officially, like, for, yeah, because, like, mm -hmm, yeah. Because between Akadama Drive, this, and Gangsta, because, like, ooh. <laughs> but that's a different conversation for another day but like really I, I'm truly sad that this is over because I enjoyed this every single Tuesday and I, I don't know how it's going to be after this Um, once we get into summer it's about trying to figure out who is going to be the next this and the next that and the next whatever but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards this series Jed on the Princess of Snow and Blood if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the Master Squad and of course I will see you guys officially all really in the start of summer for whatever the heck I will be watching but until then I will see you guys all next time bye